Kalyan, a city that has so much history that the letter K in history comes from Kalyan. Jokes apart, Kalyan was a flourishing port city for over 2000 years or maybe even more until Bombay happened. At a point it was also called the gateway to western India. Kalyan is said to have references in the Mahabharata and Ramayana as Kalyana, a place near Surparakha which is today's Nala Supara. During the Mauryan Empire that is 2300 years ago, Kalyan was a major trading port on the western coast. It is said that two of the 12 disciples of Jesus Christ, St Thomas and St Bartholomew, had come to Kalyan in the 1st century. Well, fast forwarding the history, after the Mauryas came Satvahanas, then Shatrapas, Guptas, Rashtrakutas, Chalukyas, Yadavas, Silharas, then Gujarat Sultanate, Ahmednagar Sultanate, Portuguese came for a brief period, then came Bijapur Sultanate, the Mughals, Marathas and then finally the British. Apart from these, Jews, Romans, Greeks, Parsis and Yemenis were also present in Kalyan. Alright, too much history. Basically what I want to say is that if you are in Kalyan for a day, you can do the things that I did. Which are? Number 1. Durgadi Killa. It's not clear as to who built the initial fort. Some say it's the Siddhis, some say it's Adil Shah and some say it's the Mughal minister Matbar Khan. But one thing is for sure that it was only under the rule of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj that the fort became renowned. It's said that Shivaji stayed here for a few months and formed the Maratha Navy. Nothing much remains of the fort today. There is a temple inside dedicated to Goddess Durga that's visited by devotees and besides that is an Idga or prayer hall which is closed and looks ancient. Apart from that, there are a few benches to sit and pass time. Near the fort is a big tabela that is cow shed, true to the area's name Dood Naka. And from there starts an old bridge that goes to the other side of the Ullahas river. This bridge was built in 1914, that's 107 years ago, and was the only bridge to go to the other side. From this bridge, you can also get a good view of the sunset. Next is Kala Talao. It's a huge lake which has a circumference of 1 km and has a proper walkway throughout. It's one of the best hangouts in Kalyan and is visited by a lot of people on a daily basis. People come here to exercise, jog, walk, talk, meet, take selfies, photos, shoot reels and have some couple time. There's also a memorial of Balasaheb Thakre here which consists of a bronze statue of Thakre and a tiger. Initially, this lake was called the Shane Lake, named on the migratory bird Shane, which visited the lake once in a year. It was later called Kala Talao based on the Kali Masjid, which is almost 400-year-old mosque present in one of the corners of the lake. It is called Kali Masjid because it is made of black rocks. Next place is Metro Junction Mall. This is the first mall of Kalyan, which opened in 2008. Here, you have places to shop, a food court on the top to eat, and a multiplex to watch movies. It's sort of an open-air mall and hence looks pretty spacious. These three places are the main attractions of Kalyan. There's also Gandhari Bridge which is another hangout place where you can come and look at the waters and skyline of Kalyan. You can also find people fishing here. Nearby the bridge there are dhabas where you can go to have food and drink alcohol. Talking about food, there are a lot of places in Kalyan where you have to go and eat but in this video I will just be visiting one place, the iconic Khidki Wala. Opened in 1968, this place was started by the Waze family. Initially, the owner used to make Wadas at his home and give it to his customers from the window and hence the name Khidki Wala. Today, Khidki Wala is a registered trademark and has franchises in Mumbai, Pune and other cities of Maharashtra. The Wada is really tasty and a visit here is completely worth it. This is an old Kalyan where once there were a lot of Vadas, which is a traditional Maharashtra mansion. New buildings have sprung up over the old Vadas and there are hardly any left. But you can still see some old and beautiful houses when you walk through the lanes here. There are a couple of restaurants here like Shahi Darbar that is open till 3 in the morning and then there are also a few eateries that open at 4 in the morning to serve Malai Pao. It's actually famous here. Now why do they open so early? Well, that also has a history behind it, which don't worry, I won't be getting into since this video already has a lot of history. Alright, so that was my day in Kalyan, a silent treasure trove. There are many places worth visiting nearby Kalyan like the Birla Mandir, Lonard Caves, Haji Malang, Murbad and many more. If you like the video, do share it and also subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram 
at Plyjohn. See you in another video. Bye.